Hello, friends. That was a little bit of the old school rock slash fuzz rock stoner rock band Fu Manchu off their newish album Clone the Universe. Really good stuff. If you get a chance, check it out. But you didn't come here for musical uh, critiques. You came here for some uh, development, whatnot. So uh, I've been catching some heat lately because I haven't been doing JavaScript videos. So I'm going to do some JavaScript videos. Uh, this one's going to be the ransom note kata. So basically, uh, this is going to... The idea is that if we have uh, a function that is passed in a note... And then we have a function, or well, the function is passed in a note and a uh, magazine uh, text, right? So you want to basically see that if the note has the words, if the magazine text contains the words that would be able to write the note, and it should return a boolean of true or false, right? So as I build the function, we'll figure it out. Uh, so let's go function, and we'll call it uh, ransom note. And it's going to take in a note, and it's going to take in a magazine, magazine text, right? So, let's figure this out. First thing that we would want to do, if the note and the text are passed in as strings, we're going to want to split those, split all those strings. So, to make them basically arrays that we can look at. Oh, and a quick note, in this one we're going to do it, we're going to keep it easy, we're going to assume that all the strings passed in are lowercase and contain no punctuation. So let's do this. Let's go uh, var uh, note array is going to equal note.split. Split. And we're going to break it at the, uh, at the spaces. And then var uh, magazine, uh, magazine r is going to equal magazine text dot split and we'll do the same thing break it at the spaces then we're going to need an object to store these things in so let's go uh, magazine ob is going to equal uh, just an empty object so basically the idea that we're wanting to do is we're going to want to loop through the magazine text that passed that's passed in and then each one of the words that are passed in, we're going to want to make that a key in a in an object. So the key will be the word, and the value because an object is all, is a bunch of key value pairs. The key will be the word, and the value will be the amount of times that that word uh, shows up in the magazine text. Right. So let's do that. Let's go magazine uh, r dot for each. We'll use a for each loop here. Word arrow function. And then what are we going to want to do? We're going to want to go uh, if, and then we'll go magazine, uh, we'll go not magazine obj with the key of word. If that does not exist, then what we're going to do is go magazine with the key of word, whatever the word is, we're going to equal that to zero starting out, right? And so if that is the case, well, we don't even need it. Yeah, yeah. So if that is the case, if it doesn't exist, we're going to do that. And if it does exist, then we're going to go uh, magazine obj with the key of word, and we're going to increment it by one. Right, so let's console log our magazine obs real quick just to see what we're working with here. And let's call the function ransom note. And we need to pass it in a note. For right now, we'll leave the note blank and we'll pass it in a magazine text of this is the test text. Right, so let's see what that object looks like. Okay, so it's working. So this is the test text. So each one is a key with the word and then a value of the amount of times that, it pa that it's passed in. Just to double make sure, we'll put text in there twice just to make sure that it's... Yeah, okay, so text shows up as two right here. So our object is working good right now. 
So now, since this whole thing is going to return a true false at the end, we need to set up our boolean. So we'll go var note is possible, and we'll set that equal to true. We'll assume that it's true at first, right? So now that we have this at true, we want to have test cases to make sure that it's true and not false. So what we'll do is we'll go through our note array and we'll take each one of those words and we'll see if it's found in the magazine object through the key of word. If it is, then we'll decrement it. And if it's not, we'll just put var uh, note as possible. So we'll set that to false. So let's do that real quick. Let's go uh, note r dot for each uh, and that'll be a word and then we're going to do something with it put my semicolon right here okay so for the word that's passed in we'll go if and again we'll go to the magazine obj magazine obj with the key of word So if magazine obj key of word, then what we'll do is we'll decrement magazine obj with the key of word by one. We'll just go minus minus, right? And then we'll go if, after we've done that, we'll go if magazine obj with the key of word is uh, less than zero, then we'll go, we'll set that note is possible to false. And then since we have an if here, so if this word out of the array for the note is found as a key in the magazine object, we want to do this. And then so we'll have to have an else. If it's not found there, then we'll just uh, return note is possible we'll set that equal to false and then down here we'll just return we'll actually we'll console well, we'll return return uh, note is possible the boolean down here right so now what we want to do is console.log I'm just gonna put a console log here I'm trying not to write that down there console log note is possible and then here We'll just call our function ransom note with a note and a magazine text passed in. And so let's write a note. Uh, the note that we want to write will just say bring the money downtown. And then the magazine text, just for this example, will go uh, downtown is a cool place to visit but make sure that you bring money right so this should fail because I don't think there's a the uh, there doesn't look like there's a the in the magazine text so let's run it and see if it fails and it does it's false okay so let's put a the in here we'll just randomly put them in like the downtown the true okay cool so that's the that's the way that you solve it it's a pretty simple little code kata but you're doing a couple of things here you're working with working with objects you're working with uh different kind of different kind of uh if if else statements and things like that so it's a pretty good little kata practice it and uh keep it going do a little bit of the uh a little bit of Fu Manchu to play out.